Hello, this is Casbalu, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy V! This time we're gonna do the Phoenix Tower, hopefully for reals. Actually, I should save. Um, and yeah, last time we got Odin! Meaning this is the last summon we don't have. The Phoenix, that is. And also Cryo Master Blue Mage, meaning she is now 100% freelancer. Now, something I want to point out really quickly, the reason I am not doing the Mimic yet thing yet is because I want to save that for when Bart's here in particular has mastered... when he's a freelancer, basically. I want to make sure I can go through it really, really quickly because I know, or at least strongly suspect, I was told in any, in any case, at one point or another, or wait, was I told? Or in any case, I believe that it is a timed area, so I want to make sure I can go through it really quickly. Uh, that said, let it let's put. This is gonna make your agility drop like crazy, but well, it could be worse. Um, yeah, anyway, anyway, what, wait, what, how am I actually supposed to pro progress in here, I just, I don't get it at all, this place sucks. How am I actually supposed to climb this freaking tower? <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't. I wish I knew. It would make things so much easier. But I don't. I mean, there has to be some way up. I don't know, maybe I need to do something, or... It's not really clear. Is there a... No? Um... Seriously, how how the hell do I climb this stupid tower? So apparently a reflect ring is a rare drop. That's valuable, but not really relevant to climbing the freaking tower. Ah. I don't know, maybe I just won't get Phoenix. That's a possibility. <laughs> But then I would need to do a bunch of grinding off screen, and I just don't want to do that, you know? I just really don't. Because, like, I don't need Ferris to be a to have be a freelancer as well. Because, well, first of all, because Black Magic just takes a really long time to cast, especially when you're double casting. But mostly because I think between these two, I can pretty much carry myself through anywhere really quickly. Uh, what the hell is up with this place, though? Is there something with the pillars, maybe? That's what I'm checking right now. Oh, you know, by the way, before I ro forget, let's throw this back on, because <laughs> why not? Uh, it's not like Fine Passage is doing me any good, so... May as well be a little bit quicker. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and check all the pillars, I suppose. Then I'm gonna, like, I don't even know. Well, Ferris gained a job level, which means she now knows how to jump. What do you do? Uh, oh! I needed to talk to the wall! That is, like, so not expected. Uh, well, I guess Lena doesn't need the experience, apparently. I don't know, I think she could probably use the experience, although at least she doesn't need the AP. It wasn't that much experience. I just, wow, I did not ex see that coming. I really didn't. That is just out of nowhere. But, I can deal. Probably. Probably. Uh, okay, so probably another hidden door. 
right there. Awesome. And more view people to fall, more snake people and plant people to fall before Lena's octuple strike. It's kind of, it's kind of OP. In the best way possible. I, I just cannot express how glad I am to have completely stumbled into a broken shit like that. It is just so great. Oh, are these healing pots? It's a monster. It's a magic. Oh. Well, I'm pretty sure it'll kill me if I attack it, so... You know... You know... I'll give you an elixir. Okay. 100 AP?! Wow! And a phoenix down. And the pot is still there. Is the other pot also a magic pot? Uh, I haven't actually seen the sherry ha before, have I? Well, I don't think it would be really very relevant because... This. But let's show it anyway. Oh, you put Lena to sleep. Oh well. You know, I don't think I've once landed an attack with Bear since it turned him into a Dragoon. Kryl has, without fail, finished off whatever she's attacking before Ferris lands. Which is kind of too bad for Ferris, but also kind of really cool. <laughs> for me. Is this also a magic pot? No, it's money. Wait, I'm curious then. And that's four reflect rings. Uh, okay, it's gone. I have to know. So many reflect rings. I'm probably gonna actually sell some of them. You know, when I'm about to go into the rift and I'm just selling all my shit so I can buy more uh, elixirs and Puma shurikens. Hmm. You're new. Actually, no, you're not. You're very old. And totally gonna die. Just from this, if I remember right. Yep. Actually, potentially a threat, though, because as I recall, it dealt damage based on its HP. Or rather, how much was missing. Uh, ooh. I will gladly throw an elixir at you. Because it'll save me, like... So much grinding time on Ferris and Barks. In fact, it almost feels... Oops. In fact, it almost feels a little bit bad. I guess it did the elixir too soon. Oh well. It almost feels like I should put a uh, Lena and Kryl in jobs as well, just for this. But... It's not really worth it. Lance, cool. And a phoenix down. And mastered! Yay! Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fix Barks off screen. So, see you in a minute. Okay. So. It's more money. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And I have three freelancers now, so. Should I even still have Throw and Cryl? I'm sort of wondering. It might almost be better to... Oh, oops. Okay, I'm gonna need to fix that so Spelllade is in an intelligent location, but that's a small thing. Okay. Uh, I fixed Bart's uh, abilities, and while I was doing that, I also replaced Lena's weapon. I put her... I wanted to put a shield on her, and plus also the weapon that boosted her magic the most. Which, much to my surprise, was the Bloodsword. <laughs> Go figure. 
I don't know if that'll be staying on her though, but for now that's where it is. Hopefully I'm almost at the top. I mean, it's really small and all, but... Hmm... Am I supposed to be aiming for specific spots on the wall? I have to wonder... I see... So... I don't know if I want to be fighting things or not. I'm gonna try doing the ones where I am fighting things. To see if that makes progress. But this might be the- that's- wasn't this a boss? I think it was. Well, it's dead now, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was like the boss on the fire-powered ship. Okay, more magic pots. Hmm... Should I take it or leave it alone? I'm super tempted to just change all of my dudes into different classes right now. But I don't really feel like going through the effort of doing that. You know, I'm gonna leave it alone. If for no other reason than to see if it changes up the, the monotony of this climb. Because seriously, this is going on forever. That's also familiar. That was the on the airship, wasn't it? Okay, I think I do need to fight these then, because there there seems to be some kind of progression uh, between them. Then again, I could be mistaken. <laughs> I could be mistaken. I don't know. It's overall, it's not really very clear. It's not exactly very clear. Oh well, I suppose. I've definitely fought you like three times now. I don't know how high up am I. Pretty high up. I wonder what would happen if I started climbing down. I don't want to think about it. Ha ha! I changed my... All my things, cause you know... If I'm gonna do this... And... I did miss that one down below, but you know, I just don't care. Wait, are you... What? Not... It didn't run away. run away already. Thank you. 100 AP! Yep. Cool. I just turned both of them into monks because, well actually, in Bart's case it's because I wanted to counterattack, but in Lena's case it's because of the all of the HP increasers. Not that I think she actually gained them all, but, you know, whatever. And Kryl is the chemist for the same reason Barth was, because double healing item effect is kind of nice on people who do not have access to magic. Anyway, I need to fix them now, so... yeah. Okay, that takes like a really long time. <laughs> Wait! I forgot my money. I just realized that I forgot my money off of the pot on the 15th floor. Oh well. It's not really a big deal. 
Um, how many floors are in this stupid tower, though? Okay, what are you? Another fire hand. Another dead fire hand. <laughs> oh, hey. I just don't know. I just really don't know. I'm almost at the point where I'm just gonna cut till I get to the top. Because it's taking for fracking ever. I mean, I don't think this is gonna be too long for you, but I'm at half an hour right now. Well, maybe 25 minutes actually, because I started a little bit early in this one. Anyway, uh, oops. Okay, you know what? I don't think it makes a difference whether I fight the one with the battle or not. Um. Which, I kind of wish I hadn't skipped the one in the 15th, the pot on the 15th floor now. I might actually end up climbing back up just for that pot. Assuming the tower doesn't collapse underneath me. Anyway. Which, you know, could happen. Anyway. Anyway. Yep, I don't care. I can finish you off in one hit. Actually, it would be more convenient if I didn't finish you off in one hit, because then I could use an either on Lena here, who is getting a little bit low. A little bit. I really hope I'm near the top of the tower, though. This is really starting to drag. You know what, actually? You know what? I'm going to just cut off here. Uh, I mean, I'm going to cut back when I hit the top, because this is going on way too long. So I'll see you whenever the hell that is. Okay, floor 30, the very top of the tower, finally. Uh, I got a bow from the magic pot on floor 25, which is kind of meh. Um, and all, is that Hiru? Hiru! It is! That was unexpected. Is this the Windrake that saved you? Um, where are you going? Also, weren't you dead? I thought you were dead. <laughs> Hiru, what are you doing? He says he wants to help you. Hiru! Lena. Hiru knew he didn't have much longer to live. That means... In the ancient forest, when he saved me! It seems he came to this tower so he could help you with the last of his power. Hiru! What do you mean? Mother's not gonna make it. Dear, the doctor did his best. It seems the only thing that can cure her is a wind drake's tongue. Lena! Where are you going with that knife? Certainly you don't mean to. Stop! Sire, I'll go.
Princess Lena. Kill him and you'll have finished off the last of the Windrakes. What's more, the Queen Mother has always cared deeply for Hiru. Will you still- Wait, what? I'm going to ask this in the flashback? Well, no. I mean, what happens if I say yes? But no. In the context of this being a flashback, it makes no sense at all for her to cut out the tongue. But what happens if I say yes? Uh, no. Princess, your father used to come here every day debating what to do. But perhaps it's for the best. Oh, poor Lena. That can only be the phoenix. The Windre Hiru became a phoenix. The phoenix entrusts its power and its soul to Lena. Received the summoned monster, Phoenix. Oh, that's so sad. Well then, on that note, on that note, as sad as it is, we got what we came here for. So, until next time, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy V Guess Blue. <laughs>